Welcome back Tech Talk viewers and KiwiCo viewers. This is our latest Eureka Crate. This is Build Your Own Pinball Machine. This is by far the most epic Kiwi Crate period. Um, and it comes with the Eureka line. You thought the ukulele uh, could fit in that box. Same size box. Check this out. This is Eureka Pinball. Somehow this giant pinball machine fit in that tiny box. And it's actually zip tied together in three different portions, which are each the size of the box and features interactive uh, components in here until uh, including two of these flippers that are spring loaded and are movable here, a plunger right here that you pull back and shoot the ball out, three targets up there that are spring loaded. As soon as you hit them, they will fall down. Check that out. These uh, little bumpers uh, throughout the uh, board here does have a, I think they have rubber bands on them. Yep, they have rubber bounds, so they bounce. And then also that multi-ball bonus has two balls loaded there that you hit that, the dowel spins down, you get your multi-ball. Even a little ramp that goes all the way up there and just drops back down. Again, not too fancy. You can even tilt to try to cheat the game a little bit. So here's David who built this. Tell us a little bit about how you put this together. Well, before I start talking about that, I think by far this is probably one of my favorite uh, builds just because it's more of a... Um, most of the other builds are... After you use them, after you build them, I don't know, to me, I don't use them that much, but I think the riveting and the, the wallet I made, that's the thing I use the most. The ukulele is also very helpful, but I had the most fun building this. So, um, as you said, it consists of three different parts. The lower half, which contains the... Flippers. Yeah, the flippers, the... Ball return and the uh, launcher, if you will, yeah. Uh, yes. So up here, these are just loaded by a spring down there. And then each one of these, the problem with these is that because there's no way to hook them in, if you ever launch a ball, they will sometimes fall over because there's just force pushing it forward. But essentially how you're supposed to play the game is just basic pinball but you can use the flippers to uh to try and hit down all the targets uh as bonus means and then the multi-ball it's fun to use just because it's like you know more balls on the screen so this games. is the multi-ball over here and then that would trigger a multi-ball bonus right yeah, yeah. So, Oh, multi-ball bo so, bonus. See, Launch off the ramp. That was one of the problems. When this comes up here, um, it sags a tiny bit, so I tried to add more weight down. Um, it works pretty much like regular pinball. Just the, the only few variants are when the uh, flippers require a... You require like, to push, not push downwards. You have to push inwards, which is a little bit difficult to get used to. But, uh, cool feature is that it has it has customizable uh, pegs, and you can the bumpers. So you could easily just take these, move them anywhere, or you could remove one of the bumpers, have three more pegs. So, if I were to have none of these mini pegs, then I could have another one of these. So, you can move it around. It's pretty fun to see which ways you can block. So, this uh, thing, or this setup right here is actually, it's a bit hard in order to get it up here and into here. Just because the way it rolls back down, it will always usually bounce. So, that's what I found worked for me. And 
I've had a lot of fun using them. I'll tell you who else has had a lot of fun. Uh, Lucas, his little brother, has been caught playing this all the time. So not only was this, was this a cool design build uh, that was really cool to make, uh, genius, ingenious uh, design, uh, KiwiCo, for this one, uh, but it also had replayability. I mean, look at this hefty manual, uh, the maker's guide, if you will, that shows you all about the design of not only this kit, but also of the... Um, pinball machine itself, which is a cool mechanical engineering feat. If you ever played a classical uh, pinball machine, uh, you know the mechanics of it are um, very precise and intricate. So you can see that everything here is zip tied together. There's no glue. So some of our audience uh, have asked any glue, no glue required. Um, these are sticky taped on. There are some sticky tape tabs. It's more of a, it's a foam. Oh, yeah, the sticky foam. foam. Yeah. Sticky foam for some of the, uh, some of the joints to anchor them, but otherwise zip ties. So no mess. Takes about two hours to put together. Uh, David got started right away in getting all of this done. And there's the ramp part here. Not the ramp part, the ramp part. <laughs> Anyways, that was a play on words. Very Rampart. Beautiful. Anyways, uh, and so the rules of the game here. These are the rules. You can start by prepping the machine, which is just up here, the springs. Yep. And you load the pinballs into the launcher. Okay. Or, and you can also load them into the ball, which I will actually not do right now. But... Well, everybody wants to see you play it. So well, actually, why don't you give us a, a, a real run through of the game here? Make yourself comfortable. Okay, so if you want to or not, you can load the multi-ball. Uh, sadly, there are not two, so you can't have two singulars. If you were to find more of the, the marbles this size or the pinballs, then you might be able to fit a third one in. Or you can shoot multiple out of the launcher once. But it works like regular pinball, but pretty sure the object of the game was to uh, hit down all three and if everything landed in here any you hit down was your final score I don't know but here I go all right let's check it out wow got the multi ball already it's getting violent he lost one ball he's down to one he's got nothing hit down going for the ramp he's pretty aggressive on these triggers Ooh. Oh. Jumped over the ramp. He yeah, beat the game. Went gone. flying. It's gone. It went right out into uh, right out in the atm uh, outer out atmosphere. <laughs> right out of the atmosphere into outer space. Eureka pinball. He's gonna try again. As you can see, if you launch the ball, I'm not gonna do anything. One, it will either hit right here, just due to the fact that it rolls this way. But and you can also see the mechanics of where it balances. So it's usually doesn't go down here, which is a bit of a problem, which is that was purposeful because then it will usually land here, either requiring you to act quicker because you don't get all this time and it could just roll right through. These are actually the easier ones. As you can see, there's it can barely roll through while the harder ones have about this much space in between. So it's a lot more difficult and on this one, it's, there's this much space that can go down, so you're way less likely to. But I'm not going to try so again. As you set up for the next uh, round, this is in, an interesting uh, kind of tidbit of Kiwi's prototyping of this kit. 23 hours of playtesting, 18 prototypes of the board, 30 prototypes of the flippers, 66 customized holes. Thank you guys for doing this. Uh, this is really fascinating. You can take a look at other histories of uh, pinball video games and how to customize your machine. You can even, it, wow, even it. add LEDs to it if you really wanted to. And you can show off what you made at Eureka Crate, which we will do, although not necessarily customized here. All right, let's show us another round and we'll wrap it up. Before I start, though, one thing, if you're building, is these little flippers here okay. are going to 
they're going to be very difficult to attach the spring to. What I suggest is that you make sure the spring's fully attached, and if you're going to change them out, just attach, this, attach the spring before you attach these, otherwise it's going to be very difficult. You guys hear that? That's a pro tip for building. Attach the springs before you anchor the flippers, all right? Uh, just by nature, you're going to have to pull that string spring into extension if you don't, and it'll be a hard time for you to hold the flipper uh, and anchor at the same time, I guess. So, pro tip from David. All righty. And they're off. Multi-balls to go. He's already lost one. He's down to two. He's down to his last ball. He might see, not get anything. The ramp. See that orange peg right there that I just hit, that is what causes him to lose most of everything just because... You can always change that peg. Oh, yeah, he got the bonus. I like it to be a little bit difficult, so... As you can see, almost every time it just hits that peg. So that makes it very difficult to hit the score up there. Now, I... Oh, oh he hit he hit the thing, but not hard enough. What? Oh, I, okay, what a scam. Wrong. So, as you can see, based on the different areas of the flipper you hit on, you could hit on the very beginning, but... Right, if you want to, for this design, if you want like to shoot the third one, you want to hit it at about where the where you attach the spring is. Oh, we got it. I think it just went down a little on its own. Now, as for the 1000, that one requires a lot more. Pin ah. Oh, and it's over. Well, there you guys have it Eureka Pinball. Eureka Pinball by KiwiCo. This is uh, our, gosh, I think this was our February, no, January. January months, January months Kiwi Crate because actually we already got the February one done and that was the printing press. Or did the pinball machine come after the printing press? Printing press came second. So printing press was February, this was January's. But you know what? How they do uh, the Kiwi Crates is that they kind of do them out of order for everyone. So it's just in the rotation. Um, if you get the Eureka Crate subscription, uh, you're very likely to get this as one of your month's rotation. So just because you missed January 2021 doesn't mean that you can't get Eureka Pinball. In fact, if you ever buy any of these a la carte, uh, KiwiCo says that they'll keep track of which ones you've purchased separately so that you don't get a duplicate within your subscription. So some of these have been rotating for years, uh, although there are very few of the Eureka Crates available a la carte and even fewer uh, that have been reviewed uh, like I am. So we are adding to the uh, YouTube universe some of these cool uh, Kiwi crates that you can get uh, through the subscription. Uh, if you hit up the link below, you can get either uh, $10 off your purchase of a subscription or even a free month, depending on how the promo runs. Uh, so be sure to use our referral link uh, in the description below. Otherwise, check out all our KiwiCo Kiwi Crate videos. We've got a bunch. David's built a ukulele. He's done a, uh, what else did you build? Built a riveting machine. Riveting machine, a lockbox that seems popular. Box. Is that it? Uh, There's something else too. But you can check them out in our KiwiCo uh, playlist. Uh, and Douglas and Lucas also add to that with the uh, Tinker Crate, uh, the uh, Doodle Crate, the Maker Crate, and the Atlas Crate uh, subscriptions. Uh, David's been uh, doing these Eureka, Eureka Crates. So thanks, KiwiCo, again for making this awesome kit. Uh, get your Eureka Pinball Crate through KiwiCo. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on our next KiwiCo video.